welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have yet another holiday glam makeup tutorial and yeah this was actually inspired by a picture I saw on Instagram from a girl named Nadia Meja or Meja. Um, it looks like this. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I just fell in love with this picture and her makeup. So I found out actually that the makeup artist that did that used one of these and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art um, in Burnished Bling. So I went ahead and bought it and I kind of revamped the tutorial a bit. But yeah, I thought this would be a really pretty makeup look to do for the holiday season. Um, super glittery and glam and with the lashes and the lips and everything. It's just perfect for the holiday season for whatever occasion you guys will be attending. But yeah, if you guys are just checking out my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down down, subscribe button down below so you guys can keep updated with my videos and also give this video a like it just really lets me know that you guys enjoy my content and I'd really appreciate it um, but yeah if you guys would like to see this makeup tutorial then just keep on watching so I've already applied my foundation and I just used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade 177. Um, so now I'm just going to be priming my eyelids with the Essence Eye Stage eyeshadow base um, and I really like this eyeshadow base just because it acts as a really nice primer but it also acts as a base um, so that the colors show up more vibrantly on my skin and I'm taking it all the way up to my eyebrow and just to set that I'm just going to be taking my face powder this is just the mineralized skin finish natural in dark so just as a transition shade I'm going to be taking a shade from my Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to be taking this sort of light creamsicle color right over here and I'm just going to be adding that into my crease slash a little bit above my crease and this is just a Morphe M505 blending brush and I'm also just taking it really close to my nose as well next I'm going to be taking the color right beside it it's just a little bit warmer um, it's kind of like a warm brown and I'm going to be taking that on the same brush and just kind of placing it right over just to deepen it up a little. Now I'm going to be taking an even deeper shade uh, right over here. Um, it's very very similar to Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. So now I'm just switching brushes. This is the Morphe M330. I'm going to be dipping into this shade right over here. Sorry, these don't have any names. I'm going to be putting this directly into my crease. And then I'm just going to take that first brush that I used earlier just to blend those colors together. So now for the exciting part, I'm going to be taking this guy over here. It's called the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And by the way, this color is in Burnished Bling. So it's a little hard to work with, but just be very patient. So I'm going to be taking a little of this into the center of my lid. So I'm going to be taking one of my favorite shades by ColourPop. This is in Lala. And basically you're just going to work that right above that harsh line. And because these are so similar in color, it's going to kind of look like um, it naturally just fades into the transition shade instead of having like a sharp line. Um, now before you add the glitter, you want to make sure that the base isn't tacky anymore. And basically I'm just going to be brushing on the glitter and just try to do it as evenly as possible. And I am putting a little of the glitter just kind of in the crease and a little up just so that um, there's a nice amount of sparkle all over because it is the holidays after all. And then you just want to kind of keep your eye closed um, so that it doesn't kind of crease. So just kind of, I just like fan my eye basically until the glitter dries. So now I'm going to be taking that same tapered brush that I used earlier. And I'm going to be taking an even deeper color. Um, this is right over here. It's kind of a more neutral toned brown. It doesn't really have much red undertone in it. Just to further deepen the crease. 
And then I'm going to be going back in with that first orange color that we used on the same big fluffy brush. Next with this flat synthetic brush, I'm going to be going into the lightest shade in the palette and I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and then you can kind of drag that color down into the transition shade. And just to soften that a little because it's a little harsh, I'm just going to use that blending brush and blend those colors together. So now I'm just going to be adding my classic wing. I do have a tutorial on this if you guys are interested. And then the lashes that I used are by Coco Lashes and it's in the style Goddess. So while the glue is drying, I'm just going to put a light coat of mascara and this is just the Benefit Better Than Sex mascara. So this is what the eyes look with the lashes on. Now before I do anything else to my eyes, I'm just going to go in with some concealer. The Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe, the one I always use. And I'm just going to be using my beauty, my beauty blender to blend all of that out. And I'm also going to be doing some intense highlighting around the under eye area. So I'm going to be taking my LA Pro Conceal, and this is in Cool Tan. And I'm also going to be taking a bit of that concealer down my nose as well. And then I'm going to be taking my banana powder just to set all of that and bake my face a little. I feel like this step is crucial, especially for a holiday look, because um, you want your under eyes to not really crease throughout the night. So as always with baking, you just want to let this sit on your face, and then we'll wipe it off in a couple minutes. So I've waited about a minute. You can wait a little longer if you're actually going somewhere after, but because I'm just going to bed after this, I'm just going to be taking um, a bit of my face powder, the MAC MSF Natural, and just this brush over here, I'm just going to dust off all that excess powder. So I'm just going to be contouring with my Sleek Contour Kit. And as a blush, I'm going to be using MAC Pinch Me. And as a highlight today, I'm going to be using MAC Champagne, or sorry, Becca's Champagne Pop. And I'm going to be taking this on a Morphe fan brush. This is the M601. And I'm also going to be layering a bit of MAC's Shaft of Gold. And I'm going to be grabbing that first deep brown shade that we used. And this is just a Sigma medium sweeper brush, the E54, and I'm going to be working that into my lower lash line. And just with the same brush, I'm going to be going into this bright orange color, and I'm going to be placing that in the same spot because I kind of wanted a little more orange. And I am going to actually take a bit of this and put it underneath my lash, uh, my lash line. I'm going to be painting it on this flat definer brush. So what I did to this eye over here is I just took um, this Makeup Forever um, eyeliner and this is just in a brown color and I just line my waterline and then I'm just going to add um, mascara to my lower lash line. So first I just um, am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and then I'm going to be layering the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara on top. So now all that's left is the lips. So first I'm just going to be lining my lips with Chestnut by MAC. And this is ColourPop's Avenue. So now just kind of looking at the color on camera, it's a little brighter than I intended. As you can see in the picture, she has kind of like a deeper red. So I'm just going to be taking LAX, putting that kind of on the outer edge, almost creating like an ombre. So yeah, this is definitely the lip color that I had in mind and I really like it. 
Um, so last but not least, I'm just going to spray my face with Fix Plus, and this is just kind of going to kind of like liven up the makeup. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I just switched out my hat for a turban style scarf. I think this would be an amazing look for like a holiday party or a wedding or something. It's just so pretty. And I just kind of put this on to kind of go with the theme. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It just lets me know that you guys enjoy my content. And also, if you're just checking out my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep updated with the rest of my videos. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!